Hey gang, uh, basically I was asked a question the other day as to how I'm going to finish the cables on my uh, injection setup here, whereas the old throttle cable from the 360 carburetor was just a straight-ended cable that was clamped into a brass cable stay with a screw for adjustability. Uh, this particular configuration requires that I have a barrel on the end of my, my cable, and if you look at this tight configuration here, I mean, there's just not enough room here for... Uh, you know, for a screw barrel, so you have to come up with a solder end uh, type uh, cable end. Uh, and I'm not going to rebuild the entire cable, so I'm just going to put a, a solder ball on the end of it. And it looks like this, they lock in and hold on nicely. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I make these, um, and hopefully it'll help you in your project somewhere down the line. Okay, what I have here are two pieces of scrap aluminum that I just clamped together, drilled a hole and bolted together. Um, I believe it's, uh, I can't get a good measure here, it's about 3 eighths I guess. And then um, I drilled a quarter inch hole down through the top plate, halfway through the, uh, the bottom plate. Then I drilled a small, um, I believe it was five, uh, 3 32nd hole in the side. And that's where I'm going to insert my cable to uh, fasten it to a solder pool that we're going to create in this orifice. You can see the shiny stuff in here already. Uh, I've packed in the flux already. I basically just use regular plumber's flux. You get a finger full of it, and pack it into the hole, and basically you know you're full when it starts to squirt out the side. All right. Next, we're going to apply heat and uh, get this flux to boil. Okay, so now I'm heating the flux and the uh, the whole thing. You'll see it start to boil up. Let me zoom this in for you. There we go. Just boiling up a bit. That means it's cleaning the uh, the metal where it's going to sit. It's getting ready for the uh, solder. Let that boil off for a little bit, and then we're going to get up the temperature and insert the solder uh, wire in there. Okay, uh, you got to excuse the camera angle, it's quite precarious the way I have the camera mounted right now, but we're going to try this anyway. So basically we're going to heat the, uh, hopefully not the phone, we're going to heat this piece up, and then we're going to, actually at the same time, the cable, I'm going to splay the end slightly, where um, you can see the um, cable is not exactly wound uh, together 100%, it's a little bit opened up, and that will allow it to adhere to uh, the solder. The solder doesn't actually stick to it, it just uh, kind of encapsulates it, so you want to have some space between the wires. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to start touching the solder into the pool here, see if it's ready to melt, and it's not yet. So we're just going to keep heating it until she gets hot. It'll start to melt the solder in just a second here, I'm sure. Oop, I just lost a piece. Hopefully that will go down in the hole there. Go on, get in there. <laughs> Turn the heat up a little bit. There it goes. Slowly but surely, make it its way in. Okay. Now we're going to fill this cavity with solder. We're going to continue heating it until it bubbles. Come on now. There we go. See, it's got a nice shine to it, so we know it's heated up well. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our cable dip it in the flux, and then insert it into the slot in the side of the fixture. Give a little wiggle. Make sure she's got solder coming out a little bit. All right, I'm going to take the heat off. Okay. Continue to hold the cable in position because the solder is well too hot to, you know, to pull it out yet. It's not going to stick. Uh, try to find my chisel while I'm at it. I'm going to take this and I'm going to scrape the excess off the top. That'll help aid in easy cleanup later as far as finishing the, uh, the fitting. Solder's still very shiny, so it's extremely hot right now. Not ready to uh, remove the wire yet. Give this a minute here. I'll see if I can get it to cool off and I'll come right back. Magic of editing. All right, the solder will begin to haze over, which tells me that it's starting to solidify. That's cooling off enough where we can almost uh, remove the fixture without worrying about pulling the cable out. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and remove the fixture and dip it in some cool water to give it the, uh, the old assist as far as uh, cooling off goes. Here we have a small jar with just some water in it. I'll dip this down in here. Give it a little wiggle. That'll make it uh, cool enough to manage, hopefully. Can't quite handle it yet, so let's... Uh... Alright. That should be cooled off enough. Alright. Yep, and there's our fixture. I'm going to pull the nut off the back and take it apart. Let's see what we can get when we demold it. 
Okay, I've taken the bolt out, essentially releasing these two blocks from one another, uh, but they've stuck together, uh, probably because the solder has uh, worked its way into any of the um, textures or whatever on the uh, molds themselves. So I'm going to pull it apart here physically, pry it apart, and then this one has to be released. So I'm going to push in it on a, like a button. My goodness. It really doesn't want to come out, does it? Let's try it again. Just a second. Let me see if I can figure this out. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. Just a little tap uh, with uh, a small punch it was enough to knock it free. Um, okay, and here it is. It's not exactly perfect, but it's not terrible, and it definitely uh, will do the job. Um, the bottom here, you can see it's got a bit of a point to it. That's because of the drill bit that I used to create the hole in here. Left a, uh, a pilot mark in there. You can see it down the bottom. Um, but that's it. She's on there, and that's not coming off. I'll have to cut the cable to actually relieve her from, uh, from duty, so... All right, and uh, so now you guys know. That's how you make your solder-ended cables.